You may have seen it in downtown Spokane, chalk art on the sidewalks. Well, some business owners say it's vandalism, but the creators of the chalk art say, how could it be when it just washes off? KXY4's Alyssa Donovan is live at City Hall, where an ordinance is being discussed to clarify if chalk art should be considered graffiti. Alyssa? Well, that's right, Nadine, and this is what we're talking about. Chalk art just like this with a good power wash or a good rain, it'll come right off. And if passed, this ordinance would remove chalk from the definition of graffiti, which means if you create something like this on the city sidewalks in Spokane, you won't be given a ticket. Now, these creations were made by Rick Bocook, who has been doing chalk art around Spokane for more than eight years. Besides right here outside of City Hall, he also enjoys drawing his chalk art outside of the Bennett Block building. Last year, Bocook and the owner of the Bennett Block building argued about chalk art. She felt his art was vandalism and interfered with business, which he said it was freedom of speech speech on public property. Bo Cook received a ticket for graffiti vandalism, and that's when he decided to reach out to city council. People can do this without feeling like, am I breaking the law? So if somebody calls the police department, hey, somebody's riding on my sidewalk, and so the police will have the law in front of them while they're using chalk, well, so it's, you know, it's okay. It really makes it really clear. Here. See that gap? Yeah. And I can blend it. If passed, the ordinance would allow the use of non-permanent chalk and water-soluble paints on sidewalks as long as it does not interfere with the public right-of-way. And Bocook does not expect there to be a lot of opposition to this ordinance tonight, and he's very hopeful it will easily pass. And if it does, you may be seeing a lot more chalk art like this around downtown Spokane. Reporting at City Hall, Alyssa Donovan, KXLY4 News.